Hey, Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vive. Continuing my series of talking with the rookies today, I had the honor of having Jonathan Mingo with me today. Jonathan, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Second day, I can't say a pads because you guys were in shells today, but second day of uh, in pads kind of. How's training camp been for you so far? Uh, training camp's been going great, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just being out here with the older guys, uh, fulfilling my dreams since I was a kid. So going out, coming out here each day, getting better, just trying to attack every day, trying to go one and zero. So. It's, trying, it's been going good. Okay. Now, you said older guys. I know you had a, a meeting with kind of Steve Smith and uh, Moose the other day, yeah. cooking on the grill. I think Moose said something about a club, like teaching that, that technique or something. Was that – have you heard about that yet? Because I was curious what that might be. He said something about it, but I don't have too much – I don't have too much knowledge about it. Not yet. It probably had to do with Steve fighting or something. Probably. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> um, you're on the offensive side, so i got to ask you the question about our number one draft pick. Bryce Young, what have been your early impressions of playing with Bryce Young so far? Uh, great, composed, very smart guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, takes presence. Just, the way he plays out there, just not, he doesn't seem like a rookie on the field. Just He just poised and calm when he's, whenever he's out there. So great being around him. His timing is good. Uh, I was used to playing against him in college, you know, playing against him in college. So being on the same team with him now is good. Yeah, have you have you developed like a big brother yet on this team, whether it's in your position or otherwise, just helping you with that transition of like what it takes to be a pro? I think all the older receivers are big brothers to me. I try to take advice from them, soak everything in, just listen to little things that can help me become a better receiver and a better uh, NFL player, so I can long, I can last longer in the league. Okay, I know there's another, there's one other guy at least I know off the top of my head is a Southern guy, but here's something I'm gonna tell you. This is personal. If I told you I grew up about an hour away from you. Where would you guess that was? Uh, said an hour. Yeah, cause you was just outside of Miss uh, of Jackson, right? Miss Mississippi. Yeah. North or south? South. You south to me? Probably say you like. Oh no, is it? I think it's. I think it's actually west. It's been a while. I don't go back often. I probably say like Collins or McGee. Vicksburg. 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 Yeah, Vicksburg like. <laughs> How different is this playbook for you in the, at the college level than uh, in Mississippi? The plays are the same, but it's just the verbiage of the plays. It's more detailed. Like the plays I had in college is like one word plays, not everything now. It's got like, it might be like 12 words in the sentence. So you just got to be detailed and just listen to everything. Listen for the formation, knowing you're going to be lined up and just listen for certain words in the play card, let you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Not that you need any confidence, but have there been any moments so far at camp where you say, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to be all right. I'm, I'm going to be all right. Have you had any of those moments yet? I wake up feeling like that every day. So <laughs> once I got here in OTAs, I've been feeling like I belong. So whenever I make a play, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I feel like that's what they brought me here to do. So okay, I feel like I belong every day, even when I wake up. Even when I make mistakes, I still feel like I belong. Cause nobody's perfect, but every rep I go out there, I'm trying to share the show. I'm trying to show everybody I belong and get respect from everybody else. Yeah, I got someone I say off camera about that confidence that I like. Last one, and I'll let you go. It's hot out here. Appreciate you standing out here with me. At the wide receiver position and with your skill set, what do you think is one of your strongest skills going to help you make an impact on this team this year? Well, I feel like I'm a fast, physical guy. I feel like I can run through people, and I feel like I can uh, beat them through my quickness and speed. And I feel like once I get the ball, nobody's going to break me down. I feel like my run after the catch ability is very – it's very good, but I feel like it's underrated. I didn't really get to show it that much in college like I should have. Mm -hmm. But once I get the opportunities, not everybody going to see what my run at the catch is. Why do you feel like you didn't get a chance to show that too much in college? It just be, it just probably just by the way I was utilized sometimes. But mm -hmm. it's just, we're not worried about that no more. I'm focused <laughs> on the present now. So, yeah, everybody will see this year. Okay, I know Smith said you you run like a, uh, a running back after the catch. Yeah, I don't feel like the first person should ever bring me down, especially like the cornerback. So. That's how I feel. Okay, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. So, appreciate you taking the time. Again, we're gonna continue this series of speaking with the rookies. With Mr. Mingo, I'm Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe. Thank you all very much.